Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, now that I started to show some of my Alaskan cruise that I just did, a lot of people were asking me about hotels when we go to stay in the port of Vancouver as a pre-night or a post-night hotel. So I thought I'd give you some of my suggestions. Let's start off with the one I stayed at the most. While there are lots of hotels, there's three Fairmont uh, hotels downtown, there's the Westin, there's Hilton's, there's Sheridan's, there's all kinds of hotels in the area to stay at and they all comparably price about the same if you're in the downtown core of Toronto. Some have water views, some have city views. But by far, really the most convenient hotel out of all of them is the Pan Pacific Hotel. And I won't lie, it's not a cheap hotel, but you know what? I compared this to Fort Lauderdale and Miami for some hotels, and uh, it came in actually cheaper. <laughs> so, especially if you're United States, because you get that much, much better dollar value when you come to Canada. So. Uh, think about that. It's about 33% that you save. So you may see a price of like $550, but once you do the conversion, it's down in the 300s. And if you price out any of the nicer hotels around the ports in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, you'll see that they're that rate or more quite often. So it's not an outrageous considering where you are. The Pan Pacific is a gorgeous hotel with totem poles and the great water view. And one of the best things is it's actually attached to the convention center, which is the cruise terminal. You literally go down the elevator, you check out, you go down the escalator, and you're at your destination for the cruise. And one of the best features is you can call the bell, bell hop up in the morning. They come up to your room, they ask you what ship you're on, and they take your luggage and they put it on the ship for you. No carrying it through and giving it off to anybody else. They actually come up to your room and get it the morning of. So that's a very nice convenience that uh, it all you have to do is tip, really. They, there's no charge for that service. The dining there is really good. They have a cafe there. They have great views. One of the really nice spots is the pool area that actually overlooks the cruise terminal and the cruise port and the waterway and the mountains in the background. If you're lucky enough to get a nice day, <laughs> unlike when I stayed there and it was raining all day and just miserable, <laughs> basically. But the hotel itself was beautiful. The rooms are great. Um, they're very clean, they're very spacious, they're well appointed. Some rooms come with two huge bay windows that you can overlook the waterways. You can watch the cruise ships leaving in the evening, you can watch the cruise ships arriving during the day. You see the float planes taking off and the helicopter pad. And you, best of all, you're right downtown. You're right on the boardwalk. Stanley Park is just off within, you know, if you're a good walker, don't have any mobility issues, you have some time. It's about 40 minutes to an hour walk depending on your pace and how much you stop along the boardwalk, but you can walk into Stanley Park where there's tons of to totem poles, there's an aquarium there, there's lots of wildlife. Uh, the last time I was there I was walking along the path and I turned around behind me and I had about 15 raccoons, mothers and babies just following me, just look, just following, not paying any attention, just following me down the path, which, which is pretty cool actually. Um, yeah, so the Pan Pacific, location-wise, you really can't beat it. It's the most convenient hotel on the boardwalk. For, the, for what you get. And it, it has a spa, it has shopping, it's right beside all the action, and it's right at the ships. What more can you really ask for? Now, if you're looking for something just a little cheaper, because Alaskan cruises can be expensive, another great choice that I like is the River Rock Casino Resort. You can get the same quality of rooms, beautiful, gorgeous rooms, in fact, the last time I stayed there, I got a one-bedroom suite for much cheaper than I got a regular room at the Pan Pacific. It's also 
right on the electric transit way. Now, if you're not familiar with the port, when you fly into Vancouver Airport, you can just literally walk to the end of the terminal and there's an area there that you can get on the electric tram. And the electric tram brings you all the way downtown right to the waterfront, literally one block away from where the cruise port is, right downtown. So one of the places I like to stay is right on that transit way, about halfway. The River Rock Casino is about halfway. So you get on the tra tram, you get off, right at the River Rock Casino, you walk across their parking lot and you're at the hotel. It's not far from the tram at all. In the morning, the same thing, you get on board and it's literally about an 18 minute train ride. You get to the, ter the, uh, the term train terminal, you go outside, you turn right, you turn right again and there's the cruise port. It's literally a block away. So it's not far, but you're going to have to bring your own luggage. You're going to have to bring it on the train. And there's lots of places. There's lots of standing room areas where you, people place luggages and bicycles and things like that on the rail system. It's very well designed that way. And it's super clean, super safe, and super convenient. So that's one of the things I really love. Now, the hotel itself, because it's a casino, obviously, you have the casino. There's great dining there. You have a wide selection of hotel rooms. You can look down on the marina, you can overlook the waterway, you can overlook a city area, you can get a big huge suite, you can get one bedroom, you can get regular queen rooms, it, it, lots of choices of the hotel to stay at, um, and they have a spa as well. One of the things I do like also is they have a huge theater there, and if you're booking well in advance, you can look at the schedule for upcoming performances. They've had all kinds of play people there. They had the Pointer Sisters there once, George Thorogood. They uh, often have you know shows like uh, Beatlemania and that playing in the in the casino theater. So it's a, it's a great place to stop. And the last time I stayed there was about 300 Canadian, which means it's about 175 to 200 US, which is pretty darn good considering you're right on the tramway and it's a great hotel, lots of dining, there's a casino there, there's entertainment there, and the food restaurants are really, really good. So those are my two real recommendations. There's lots, the Fairmont's a beautiful hotel, the Westin's a beautiful hotel. They have a really nice spot outside of the Westin that kind of has like a fire pit outside and it's a dining area, it's like a tasting place restaurant where they serve you you know it's kind of like a sharing plate where they bring out one meal and the two of you would share it and it's kind of romantic it's right on the waterway as well but so there's lots of choices these just happen to be the two that i've stayed at recently so i know what to expect when i get there the pan pacific a little more pricey but compared to some other cruise ports not that much at all and then the River Rock, if you're looking to save some money, but still have a really good experience and a really nice restful sleeping area. And here's the tip also for the cruise terminal itself. The cruise terminal in Vancouver is really not a true cruise terminal. It's a convention center that they take the cruise ships out of. It was built as a convention center and combined with a cruise port. So it's a little odd sometimes the way they do things. You'll, you'll walk down the corridor as if you're walking through a convention center and you'll go into the room, you'll go through some security and some questions and then bring you down into another room and then you'll sit in that room for a while. And then when they say, okay, it's time for your section to go, you'll start going and you'll end up walking right past and outside where you've walked in to get to the cruise terminal, go to the staircase, go down a flight of stairs or take the little elevator that's there if you need to, to go one deck below, walk around a little bit and then you're at the ramp to go up into the ship. It's just, it's, it's, you know, there's pylons there. So really, if you, if you were really sneaky and knew what you were doing, you were kind of sneak in there. It's, it, but they'll, they'll find you further down the road. It's just, it's just really strange the setup that I, I saw when I was there since the last time I cruised out of a Vancouver. But it's clean. It was relatively quick. And we had, you know, you can't complain about the location of the cruise port. Dead center, you know, of the city. Everything around it is, you can get literally beside the ships 
you can take your a baseball and toss it underhand onto the deck of the ship. That's how close you are to the ship. So you don't get that in too many. Try and do that in Fort Lauderdale. Try and do that in Miami uh, where you want to wave to somebody getting on the ship. You're, you're hundreds and hundreds of yards away. Here you can literally you know, see the person's face. They're right there in front of you. So that's great to say goodbye to if you have any friends in Vancouver who are going to see you off on your cruise ship. So there you are. Those are my two recommendations for the cruise terminal. If you're, if you're for the, sorry, the hotels, if you're looking for, you know, hotels for our group cruise coming up in June, yes, we still have cabins available if you want. There's about 300 of us on board so far. Group cruise is on June 13th, 2020 out of Vancouver, northbound on the Royal Princess. All these vlogs coming up soon and all my shots on Alaska. That's on the Royal. That's on the exact itinerary we're doing. So you're going to get a really good idea of all the things you can see and how beautiful Alaska is. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.